there's seven big ones that I look at. And, and Jim, I'm I'm sure you've got your own definitions, and your yours yours probably looks a lot like mine. Probably we might label things a little bit differently, but I I I, I, w- I would imagine we're we're pretty much on the same page. We with are this. simpatico so, in a lot of ways, uh, Brian. You know, yeah. For I mean, first off, there's timeliness. Um, timeliness is huge. If you pay attention to news cycles these days, um, things <laughs> don't stay in the news very long. Um, you know, whereas a certain type of you know local story might have been a, a full week or a multi-week story, these days it, it might just get a day or two. Yeah, and they're moving on. Um, news cycles happen quick because we have things like Twitter out there where news <laughs> breaks instantly, and it's a race to cover it as quickly as possible. Sometimes that's that's doesn't result in the best journalism, but that's the atmosphere that we're in right now. Right, that's what we have to deal with. Yep, that, we, absolutely. You know, we can only change um, Proximity so much. is a big one, especially, you know, earlier we were talking about local media versus regional media versus national media. Proximity is everything. A big story in Philadelphia might not be a big story in Boston. Sure. If it's happening in Philadelphia. Now, if it's a big enough story that's getting national attention, sure. It could get regional coverage all over the country. Um, but proximity is a big deal. I mean, that, that's a factor that you've got to look at when you're coming up with story angles. I agree. Um, impact. Does it, imp- how, does it impact the audience? Is it something that they care about? Does it, does it impact their lives? Yeah. And what audience is, is it impacting? That's the other, uh, yep. other factor there. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, prominence. Um, are there big names? Are there big brands? Is Elon Musk in, in the headline? Is <laughs> you know? he one of your investors? I love writing or? about Elon Musk. Yeah. Because every time I write about Elon Musk, I always get a lot of clicks. That <laughs> name itself is clickbait. <laughs> I love it. That's a great point. But, I mean, does it have recognizable names that makes a difference? Um, oddity. Is it weird? That's, a, that's one I often overlook, but yeah, that's a, that is a good one. Yeah. Is it weird? Is it bizarre? Is it, you know, funny? Um, you know, that oddity element is, is can, it can absolutely result in news coverage. <laughs> it's very true. Um, relevance. Is it relevant to the community in mind? Okay. That makes sense. And then conflict. Conflict's a big one. And conflict is where PR people got to be careful. Yep. Um, but is there some sort of disagreement? I mean, this is why, you know, this is why you know, bad news sometimes gets a lot of coverage. Or yeah, ugly news. You can, 